early morning stroll and uh, it's a great day the wind died down and we overlook one of the boulder lakes with the backdrop of the Trinity Alps <laughs> Kia ora, that's Māori for hello in New Zealand. It's day 117. July the 9th. And we left mile 1568.8. So one of our milestones that we did yesterday was we always wanted to walk a marathon in under 12 hours and yesterday we did. We walked 26 miles in about 11 and a half hours but we had to keep walking further due to the water situation and we ended up walking 29.3 miles. Not quite the 30 but that's going to be our next goal is to walk 30 miles in one day. Yes, and I think we actually are going to walk another marathon today. We're walking to Payne's Lake. We're at Carter's Summit. We've just had lunch. And we have noticed that sometimes we have little friends that join us in the afternoon. The ants. Yes, there's lots of ants. There's black ones, red yeah. ones, big ones, little ones. <laughs> but just lots. Yeah, I, there's, there hasn't been that many days that we haven't come across ants. If it's really cold, then we don't tend to see them, but most days we see them and they are annoying. And the other thing that we are encountering is snakes, and some of them have been a bit rattled. Because <laughs> Gina walks past, and then they get all rattled, and then you know, I have to scamper past, and I hear this... They're not particularly uh, welcoming. And we saw cows in a cowboy yesterday and the dog had been bitten by a rattlesnake. So they do attack. Well, we've had lunch. We had some raisin bread. And now we need to walk another 13.8 miles. So we'll let you go with that. A good part of the section through the Trinity Alps we've been following hoof marks on the trail and as you can see where they've stepped off the trail. A characteristic of the PC is, is switchbacks, what we call zigzags in New Zealand. From its inception I understand that the PCT was designed for horses and hikers. Although I do believe it would take one expert horse rider and a very able animal to, and many years of planning and doing to complete the PCT on a horse. Switchbacks, they vary. Some are short and sweet and steep, and others are long and windy up a hillside or down a hillside. The only thing that's really compar comparable in New Zealand is the great walks, which I have a gradient component in their designs and if they can't meet it then 
cannot be classified as a great walk. Also underfoot varies greatly. Sometimes it's a easy little trail like this one, or it's rough, rocky, overgrown, and uh, hard going. But we are just heading up this meandering trail to a road where we will have our first lunch. Well, it's mid-afternoon and whilst I may not be the top of Mount Everest, this is a stupendous place to be with magnificent views all around. I love walking along the tops and having the views. Mount Chester, still in sight. Jackson Lake and round to the left where we will be heading over a saddle we can't see. This is a stunning place. We've come across the crest of another hill and we're going to make our way around to the Paines Lake. We all camp tonight. You come across some really interesting objects sometimes. Goodness knows what this is doing on the trail. And it's in good order as well. Maybe it's for a dog. Anyway, there's no one to pull it so we can't hitch a ride. So that's where we're going for the night.